to you all. It's our pleasure as school captains to introduce you to our virtual Christmas celebration. This year we are focusing on the importance of belonging to a community where faith, friendship, hope and love are central to everything that we do. In tonight's festivities we will begin by acknowledging the true reason for Christmas, the birth of Jesus Christ, by listening to the words of scripture and of prayer. In this special season of Advent, it is so important to remind that every one of us are innkeepers who decide if there is room for Jesus. At St Andrews and St Bride's, there is so much room for him. And there is also so much room to showcase the God-given talent of our peoples. And you are all in for a treat this evening from various musical performances and our very own St Andrews and St Bride's pantomime. So please sit back, relax and enjoy this beautiful celebration. Hello everyone, as the school chaplain of St Andrews and St Bride's, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you this wonderful collection of readings, of music, of reflection on what this season is really all about. And as we still live amid the uncertainty of Covid and the restrictions placed upon us, it's a wonderful opportunity for each one of us to remind ourselves that amid the uncertainty and the changing pace of the world in which we live in, there is one thing that remains constant and true, and that is the love of the Lord Jesus for every single one of us, especially made manifest in the season of Christmas by our Lord Jesus coming to us in the form of an innocent and a defenceless child. And that defenceless child, of course, is the saviour of each and every one of us. So it gives me great pleasure, as I say, to welcome you and to introduce to you the young people of our school who will, through their words, through their prayers, through their song and through their vitality, show to us the wonderful graces and blessings that we receive through this Christmas time. So please enjoy and open your hearts and your minds to the real reason for this season, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Saviour. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. They lived in a land of shadows but now light is shining on them. You have given them great joy, Lord. You have made them happy. They rejoice in what you have done, as people rejoice when they harvest grain or when they divide captured wealth. For you have broken the yoke that burdened them and the rod that beat their shoulders. You have defeated the nation that oppressed and exploited your people, just as you defeated the army of Midian long ago. The boots of the invading army and all their bloodstained clothing will be destroyed by fire. A child is born to us, a son is given to us, and he will be our ruler. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. This is the word of the Lord. First up is the Samba Bands. They are playing Mr Calder's SSIMU Part 2.
performance is Lucy O'Neill playing Distant Slays. Now our choir will sing, Rise Up.
The drama department will now perform their pantomime and murder mystery Christmas.
Young lad, like to be seen around town, eating a pack of chocolate buttons. Keep those things away from me. You tried to use them as a weapon against me. Me, Prince Charming. Who'd want to hurt this face? Definitely not under hiding. We love your food. It's a great face. They should put it on money. It's a regular you idiot. How would you know? You never seem to have any. Girls, behave yourselves. You're part of royalty. Oh, I think I'd rather face the chocolate buttons again. Are you saying you could fit myself? I saw two chocolate buttons. Yes, with chocolate buttons. Well, he seemed upset that I interrupted this conversation and he threw a packet at me. Can you imagine the damage that would have done if it scratched my face? But anyway, it's fine. He was warned that if he ever tried to do it again, it'd be glassing me through anything. So you threatened the victim? I'm a prince, good sir. Threaten everyone by my mere presence and wonder. Oh, he's so wonderful. The most wonderful. I simply warned him that there would be consequences for his actions should he try and assault a member of the royal family again. And anyway, I don't have to deal with those consequences. I have people to do those unpleasant things for me. And not to contradict your majesty, but that statement makes it sound like I can be responsible. Seeing as I'm the person you hired to do these things for you, I can assure you, I certainly didn't harm that man. Your alibi? I was escorting young Cinderella back to her home, using the prince's royal carriage. His permission, of course. Interesting. Anyway, I can deduce that the chocolate up on the victim's face was, re was from was from recently, because I have this empty packet of chocolate. I found this empty pack of chocolate buttons in his pocket, and as you can see, the wrapper is all crumpled up, so it can't have been kind of recent. He's always eating chocolate, and there isn't exactly an idea about it. He threw my favorite chocolate against me. Chocolate has all over it. She was going to wear it to the royal announcement, and everyone would be unable to look away at her face. And that's all. And nothing's on her face. So that seems like a motive to me. What? Excuse me. What exactly are you suggesting about my darling Astra? I'm suggesting that she might have had a reason to hurt the victim. Maybe with the help of her sister. My Astra and Seneca was never just like that. Oh yes, they were. Oh no, they wouldn't. Oh, oh yes. Yes. 
some business to take care of. I've been working on some new supper designs and the opportunity came up for me to get some new materials. Tell me, where were you, Sasha? Because I know for a fact you weren't out of the shop. Well, you see, the thing is, this is getting ridiculous. You're never going to figure out who did it. You can't even solve the case until it's still in my cafe. Well, actually, I have solved the case. That's what I was just coming here to tell you guys. We'll figure it all before you start to all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. You didn't like the letter. Now, who's stealing from our cafe? It appears the break is to steal your flower are actually distraction from a much bigger thing. If you weren't so distracted by the theft of some of your PDH, you wouldn't be you wouldn't you wouldn't have noticed the theft of some um, equipment. Teapots, for example. But my favourite teapot was stolen and I didn't notice because the buttons wasn't there to look after my cafe. But the thief took advantage of everything is such a mess of the cafe and an attempt to steal it. The theft was made by no other Leonardo the cappuccino. string group performing Richard the Lionheart followed by Jingle Bell Rock.
Next up is the flute ensemble they are playing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer with Caroline, Leah and Lucy. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee named Nazareth. He had a message for a young woman promised in marriage to a man named Joseph, who was a descendant of King David. Her name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. Mary was deeply troubled by the angel's message and she wondered what his words meant. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary. God has been gracious to you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. The Lord God will make him a king as his ancestor David was and he will be the king of the descendants of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary said to the angel, I am a virgin. How then can this be? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you and God's power will rest upon you. For this reason, the Holy Child will be called the Son of God. Remember your relative Elizabeth. It is said that she cannot have children, but she herself is now six months pregnant, even though she is very old. For there is nothing that God cannot do. I am the Lord's servant, said Mary. May it happen to me as you have said and the angel left her. This is the word of the Lord. We will now have the vocal performance by Grace McConnell. She's singing O Holy Name.
Our jazz band is now going to play Christmas Blues.
Robbins will be by Ben Roberts, who will play once again the performance that crowned him Young Performer of the Year 21. and uh, is now going to perform a waltz set.
next up we have our senior singers singing Caledonia. Oh, 
all about Gigi and the boss from the box. You, you bought Starbucks instead of buying from my cafe? What ever happened to supporting small businesses? What did I ever do to you? It wasn't just you. It was all of you. So was this supposed to be a show? I was supposed to be quiet and in. Continue my Christmas movie marathon. How was Die Hard Day? Oh yes it is. Don't start. Why buttons? Because it's how it was. The story doesn't happen. You don't get your chores in time. He doesn't help you find a new dress for the ball. We have to actually do that. You don't see kids to the ball down to the pipes. Or leave your glass out to the man to protect your food so you can find things you get. So not only is my glass keep what slippers stolen, but someone puts their foot in it. I am never drinking here again. I can offer some caffeine options. Oh. No happy ever after. No sir tell. You might be the main character, but buttons is the reason that everything works out in the end. So we had to go. I really wanted to watch that movie. Well, unlucky for you, there's no TV where you're going to go. You would have gotten away with it too. It wasn't for you pesky kids. That's Scooby Doo, you my pet right?
we have Charlie Woods performing Silent Night. Next up we've got Brass Ensemble playing Good King Winslow's followed by Dick the Holes. And one, two, go! <laughs> words from our head teacher, Mrs Mullen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I only wish that I was giving you this vote of thanks in person tonight for our Christmas celebration evening. But to keep us all safe, we've had to do this event virtually. But I'm only hoping that what you have experienced tonight has brought you a whole load of Christmas cheer. Uh, I know that it certainly has for me and I can only thank each and every one of our performers for, for what they've actually been able to do tonight. It never ever fails um, to impress me the talents um, that we have within uh, St Andrews and St Brides and tonight um, was, was no disappointment at all from the various bands to the solo performers to the readings and to the reflections um, it was a great event and it was just so lovely because we've not managed to get to the panto this year um, to see so many of our younger students perform a murder mystery at Christmas. And I was just so relieved that, you know, Buttons actually was brought back to life before, before the panto actually ended. It's been a great event and I, I'm sure that you will have enjoyed um, what you've experienced um, this evening. 
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you'll know that events like this just don't happen. And there are a few people that I would like to pick out in particular and give them uh, a vote of thanks. Um, first of all, to the, the, the music instructors, to the drama staff, to the music staff, who never ever kind of um, lose their enthusiasm for um, helping the children to perform. And I think that was evident this evening to our RE staff um, for, for their input into um, the important religious side um, of the event. Um, to Jerry Quigley, um, who is everywhere. I, I always say it, it's like God, he's everywhere across the school and um, he's still continuing to be that support even during these very challenging times. And to you, our, our parents and carers, um, I really want to thank you for your continued commitment and support of the school. Madeline and Olivia, our school captains, have um, been a tremendous support um, since the start of the term and they have been doing a great job across the school. So an enormous thank you to both of them and to all the music and drama ambassadors Again, your commitment to the leadership um, within the school has been absolutely tremendous. But again, I have to thank our young people. A massive thank you for sharing your God-given talents and gifts um, with us this evening. And I can only hope that every single one of you out there will have a happy and safe Christmas and um, enjoy you enjoy the New Year celebrations. I've got my fingers and my toes crossed that 2022 will be a much more normal year and that we can gather um, as a community as soon as we possibly can. Have a great holiday, everyone. Thank you. And after our reflection, it's only right that gathered around the crib scene that we receive God's blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. God bless you all. The choir will now sing Merry Christmas, everyone.